I've been successful in my career and uh, uh, part of that success I've ventured into a lot of uh, uh, extracurricular activities. I started uh, playing golf, I uh, took on scuba diving. It actually affected my family. Um, I started having less time with my family, with my wife, with my kids. One time I was uh, uh, vacationing. During my stay in that resort, a group of uh, Muslim terrorists, uh, which they call themselves Abu Sayyaf, um, attacked the uh, resort in two boats. They, they, they came and uh, abducted a bunch of tourists and uh, I was part of that uh, group that was kidnapped. We were taken from the island and uh, just uh, whisked on a boat and then uh, fled away to a part in uh, the Mindanao Island. Just total fear. I, I just experienced total fear. I feared for my life. I uh, didn't know what to think. Everything just uh, came down, uh, you know, pouring at me in terms of what have I done? Uh, why is this happening to me? There was 20 of us, and there's uh, probably about the same number of uh, captors, so that's 40 of us on the boat. And we were losing food, so we were there for a week. So it, although it's a fishing boat, but we started draining the, the supplies, and we were getting uh, a bit hungry uh, and lack of, of, of water uh, to drink. So I, I talked to our captors and they told me that the reason we're just going around is the satellite phone was drained and there is no way to charge it. And uh, me coming from a uh, telecommunications world, world I, uh, I know something about this stuff and I thought that I could uh, devise something to charge it. That allowed for us to, to uh, for, for our captors to phone in and uh, allowed for the whole group to uh, land. During that, that next day, uh, I was called by the group leader, uh, Abu Sabaya, which is uh, the leader, one of the leaders of the terrorist team, and uh, another person, um, uh, another hostage was called, the two of us, and he told us that they actually killed Sobero and because they killed him because uh, they wanted to show the government that they were serious in their negotiation. We, we were speechless. We, we, we couldn't re really grasp the, the thing that was happening that one of us got beheaded already. And that's the time that I really uh, knelt and soul-searched and prayed to, to God to just forgive me for my past and my sins. I started to, to have some peace and calm in, in my heart that no matter what, the, God has me in the palm of His hand. So amongst the uh, 20 hostages, I was uh, one of the uh, lucky ones who uh, was released early on as just a captive for one month and one week as a hostage for that long, but uh, the others were longer. Uh, altogether, they've beheaded uh, three people. Uh, it all ended December the 7th, uh, 2002. My family today uh, is doing great. So after that uh, part of my life, uh, we've taken a different road. Uh, we're closer, spend time together. Uh, most of the time we, we have dinners together and uh, yeah, just enjoying uh, the best of life. And uh, we, we are a very lucky uh, family, blessed family to have God in the center of our, our home.